I'm gonna show you guys how to add motion to any real or AI generated image, transforming it into a captivating short video or GIF. All you're gonna need is Runway ML and ChatGPT. All right, so we wanna to go to the Runway ML website. I'm gonna put the link in the description below, but we wanna click here, which is start with image. All right, so it's actually asking us to upload the image. So let's click here. I did get some images ready that I created in Firefly 2. All right, so the first image is the Pyramids of Giza. You wanna go down here where it says motion brush. This is Runway ML's new feature. I'm gonna show you how OP this is. So control a specific area with motion brush, brush over an area to apply motion control specifically, and you don't need to be precise. Tap anywhere to begin. All right, so this is the interface for motion brush, and you can select the size of the brush as well. For the first example, I'm gonna show you guys how to make those clouds move in the background. All right, so now you guys can see that everything in the sky is now purple, which means I've brushed over it. That is the area that we're gonna add the motion. We wanna go down here, which is the parameters. For horizontal, I'm gonna drag it to the left, okay, at about three, three times speed and I'm gonna make it slightly go down as well, okay? You can see this is the controls that you're gonna to use to make the motion. Now let's click save and let's generate and see what the results are. So now you guys can see everything in the sky is now moving to the left and slightly down, creating a very nice animated short video. It goes for about four seconds. Another thing you guys may not be able to see, but down at the bottom, there are some people that the AI has picked up and it's actually creating motion, sort of like an effect to show that people are moving. It just adds more to the actual video. But I'm just so happy with how clean this came out. Mind you, this is an AI generated image. This is not a real image, but I don't know, like it could, it could pass off as being real. So really impressed. All right, let's move on to the next example, which is this burning Lamborghini that I created in mid journey. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of the smoke and fire and see what effect it gives us. All right, so now I've highlighted all of the smoke and the fire and I've set the parameters to go up at 10. Before I do, I wanna also show you guys another cool feature. So let's click here and let's go to camera motion. Now here we can control the motion of the actual camera itself to add more emotion. Immersiveness. All right, so I want to go upwards, but I also want to zoom out a bit. I want to see what effect I get. Let's leave the speed at about five and we'll save that now. Now let's generate this and see what results we get. So here are the results, guys. You can see the fire and the smoke now is all moving, creating more animation. And you can also see that the camera is also panning out, but it's also raising up in the air. I'm gonna go back and change some of the parameters just to see if I can tweak the results. And this is where I really like Runway's feature here where you can just click right here. Let's get rid of the vertical. I just wanna see what it looks like when we zoom out. I also want to increase the zoom out. Let's go to six speed. Let's just see what results we get now. So once you click generate, it will now pop up on the left here and you can see there's a bit of a timeline going. Okay, so these results, I actually like them a bit better because it kept the car in the middle of the screen and the emphasis on the fire and the smoke is just... I don't know, it's more detailed now. You can see the people moving in the background as well. Guys, I just wanna emphasize, this tool literally came out two weeks ago. So the fact that it can produce this from a click of a button, just brushing over something, anyone could do this. A child could do this. Like the fact that it's this immersive and you're getting results like this, I'm so impressed with this. Great work, Runway, great work. So the next example is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. It's not a real image. This image was generated using Adobe Firefly. And I created this like maybe a month ago. Like imagine what the results are now. All right, so I brushed over all the sky and I've brushed over the water. And the parameters were set to five to go left and 1.5 going down. Let's go to the camera motion. I'm going to zoom in. Let's just see what it does. All right, so here are the results. It's zooming in and you can see there as well at the bottom of the bridge, it's sort of moving a bit of the, the rocks there as well. So I don't know if I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to change the parameters a little bit. Let's get back in there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the zoom. I don't like that. Let's completely remove that. All right, so I've just cleaned it up a little bit as well. Just made sure that it's only selecting the water and the clouds. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the horizontal to 10 and let's just check the results now. 10 might have been too much, but look at the water just quickly, guys. You can see that it's like moving to the left. Also, the clouds are also moving. I got See how I got rid of the... The panning 
when you don't pan forward or left or right, it keeps everything intact. So let's go back. I just want to change it once more and I want to see if we get better results. Okay, so I changed the parameters when we're going to the left. I changed it to three now and you can see everything is a little bit more calm and realistic. Nothing with the bridge is moving at all, which I love. And you can see there down right near the coast of the water. Look how realistic that looks. The, the clouds are always great. All right, last example, I've got this lady standing on the side of a cliff. You can see the water and you can see that there's sort of like a lot of wind and it's pushing her hair to the left. Let's see if we can add some effects to the hair and the the dress as well as long as as well as the water all right so i've brushed the hair i've brushed the back of her skirt i've brushed only a little bit of the white water and also the clouds the parameters i set to about three and also went down by 1.5 let's save that let's head to the camera motion i want to zoom out but i also want to increase my elevation as well now i don't want it to go too much so i just want to probably set it to about 3.5 let's save that and let's see the results so here are the results guys and you can see how beautiful that looks her hair and her dress are moving and the water's just coming in the clouds are moving i really liked how i also made the elevation increase as well it sort of just adds more element to the video now to export this you just click here download and there you have it. you've got a four second video as an mp4 file now what if we wanted to turn this into a gif so it just keeps on playing on a loop this is where chat gpt comes into play and it's actually very cool what this feature can do so we're going to chat gpt Let's upload the image that we just downloaded. And we just want to say convert this into a GIF. All right, so now it's converted the file and you can see here it says download converted GIF. And let's click on that. And there you have it. Now we've converted the video to a GIF and it just plays on a loop. Now, the cool thing about these is that you can upload these GIFs straight to Twitter or any social media platform, and I'll just keep playing on that loop. So there you guys have it. We went from an image that was generated by AI, and we converted that to a video, and we finished up by converting that video to a GIF. I want you guys to go in there and give it a try. Send me your examples on Twitter, and I wanna see how creative you guys can get. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.